Today's topic is how to balance work, the kids, and well, your own needs. Uh, this is actually a really interesting topic and it's something that uh, we've got a unique experience with because in the early years of our relationship, Megan and I, we actually owned a successful personal training studio. And uh, part of that success was, well, servicing a lot of members and we had a big timetable uh, for us to manage. And the nature of it is, well, we have to train people when they're not working. So it was either 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. sessions. And most of the time, it was either one of us uh, or both of us doing the split shifts, okay? With one child, it was manageable. With two, well, it was complete chaos. From that point, we we started to change our work routine uh, quite a fair bit. We, we have the ability to be quite flexible, and I know some people on this call won't, so I'm going to try and talk about all the different work routines that we've had over the years. Uh, there was a point where I was actually uh, ducking out uh, to work a three-hour shift at uh, the, snap, the local gym um, around that chaos uh, witching hour of an afternoon, and uh, the struggle there was obviously me, me and had the two kids to uh, get bed, bathed and, and fed and, and that kind of thing and I wasn't in the house uh, for, for that one. And then even recently, uh, Megan's done some work at uh, a local uh, retail uh, kind of clinical uh, place in town and she's working on a Thursday, Friday. And uh, we've got the, the situation now where I'm picking up logs from daycare or I'm picking up the girls from school and I'm getting them ready and, and that kind of thing. So uh, I'm coming at you uh, in this video with a lot of experience in uh, different uh, types uh, of situations in terms of work. But the, the main thing that rings true across all of these, uh, these different work routines was uh, your ability to adapt and think on, on the spot. I mean, if you don't know how to think around uh, managing your time effectively, then you're not ever going to really pick up on a hack or a tip that I give you or anybody else gives you uh, for that fact. So I know a lot of questions come in about how do I, you know, stop the nighttime cravings? How do I, uh, you know, get uh, fe feed my kids uh, something healthy with vegetables in it uh, that they actually want to eat? And all of those answers to those questions are uh, tactical answers. They're, they're great, but this fundamental uh, answer that I'm going to give you to this question here today is, is going to allow you to apply all of those tactical uh, solutions. And the fundamental uh, is being uh, being prepared, but not in the way that you might think. When prepared comes to mind, it's kind of like being structured uh, and having, you know, a Sunday where you food, food prep or for, for your food all week. And obviously, that isn't realistic if you're food prepping for four people for a whole week, you're not gonna do it. Uh, so having mm -hmm. having plans in place for the different days of the week that might vary, but also having a routine in mind for, all right, what's the first priority when I get home? Uh, am I cooking? Okay, if, if I'm cooking, how long am I gonna spend in the kitchen? And, and, and how can I make that time more effective? I actually just got off the phone with a mum then and she cooks three to four times a week. And already, uh, you know, she actually has seen what we eat and sees the volume of food that we have. And already I can tell her right now that, and I can tell you that if you're cooking three to four times a week right now, you're cooking more than Megan and I do, right? And, and it kind of blows, uh, blows your mind when you think about that. We probably have more food than you do and you spend more time in the kitchen. So it comes down there to creating new skills, so actually getting faster with your chopping, uh, or uh, being able to throw together meals that are fast, delicious, and nutritious, uh, but nice and easily, right? So using chopped onions, I mean, how much time would that save you just using chopped onions instead of chopping your onions? Uh, you know, cooking two kilos of mince instead of one kilo of mince, because you're gonna then have uh, more meals to go around, so that if you're cooking on Tuesday night, but you get to Wednesday night, you don't feel like cooking, you've got food there instead of saying, oh, let's go and get some takeout or, you know, it's a do-it-yourself night tonight, kids, eat whatever you want, okay? So there's those kinds of things uh, that you need to consider. Another thing to consider then is, uh, you know, if, if are you doing the hard stuff first or 
are you making life easier by doing the easy stuff first? And what I mean by that is, uh, as soon as you get home, do you spend 10 minutes with the kids, uh, with your undivided attention? And do you make them feel as though they've gotten their, their say for the day? Because if you do that, then you're more likely to have more help in the kitchen from the kids. You're more likely to have the kids actually eat the food that you serve up to them. And then you don't spend 45 minutes at the dinner table saying, eat your vegetables. If you don't eat, you're not getting dessert. Yada, yada, yada. And then you're not putting the bed, kids to bed late. They're not having baths late. And then you're not getting to bed late. Okay? So I find that afternoon period really, really critical when it comes to uh, managing work, kids, and your own health. Uh, and here's the thing that I want to leave you on is if what you were doing to be healthy was actually healthy, wouldn't you want to do it with the rest of the family? Wouldn't you want to have the whole family involved, including the kids? If that's the case, then why do something that makes you feel as though you have to do it alone and, and by yourself? That blows my mind is that there's those programs out there, there's uh, a lot of challenges out there where you're on the journey by yourself, okay? And even if they say that you're not on the journey by yourself and that it is family friendly, it ends up not being friendly friendly, family friendly, okay? It ends up not being uh, family friendly because first of all, you're buying exotic ingredients from health food shops to fill your pantry with uh, and you're creating recipes that are so complex, they end up taking the same amount of time that they did before. So there's no real difference. Okay, so I'll leave you with that thought. Your health should not be something that suffers because of a circumstance in your life. It should be ingrained and incorporated in that new circumstance so that you are able to love your kids, love your family, work and produce, right? If you want to work and produce, if you're you know, if you're career-driven as well, um, and keep yourself healthy, energetic.